Hi folks, I got another uh, combination of battery materials to try today and what I'm using is my, of course my zinc plate and the, the uh, graph oil on uh, copper but uh, instead of using the uh, felt that I bought I've got a piece of flannel here which is also a piece of felted material it's a little thinner but it still holds a lot of water and uh, graphite and lets air penetrate through it and I've also got a piece of uh, some real fine uh, nylon screen here uh, it looks like about a hundred mesh maybe or two hundred mesh uh, but it's uh, it's pretty fine stuff and it's really thin and I've already made a uh, uh, a membrane out of that which I dipped in titanium dioxide and uh, PVA glue and uh, then dipped it in borax to set the thing and it, you can see it made a nice little thin rubbery uh, membrane there and then I also have a piece of uh, brass screen here that I'm going to substitute for the, the copper uh, with the graph oil on it and uh, to see if I can let more air through the screen into this and uh, all right so I've already got this piece of uh, felt here on on top of my uh, copper electrode copper and graph oil electrode and I've already put some uh, graphite and water in it to get it all all wet so all we have to do now is get this membrane wet and throw it on there put it on there should say like that and put our zinc on there and we'll see how this works so our initial voltage is 1.007 volts so just over one volt and our initial amps are climb to 15, 17, 19 alright there's a climber but it climbed to 19 I've noticed that uh, some of these cells they'll, they'll do that Okay, so let's check, see what our self-charge is like. And we're almost back to full power already. We're at 0.956. And slightly uh, jumping around a little bit there. Alright, 3, 2, 1. And now we've got 17, 19, 20, 21. All right, so we gained a little bit in amps, and, and again, we're climbing back up. We're at 0.93 already. Right. I like the self-charge on this. It's really fast. Huh? Ready? Three, two, one. And climbing again. It took longer to take off that time, though, didn't it? And we only got to 18 milliamps that time. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. 24, 25, no, 27. It's starting to head back up already. Alright. Now let's see where we're at. And we're back to 92 already. Alright, let's do it one more time. See if we can get above 25. Alright. Or 27, I think it was. Ready? 3, 2, 1. 12, 18, 17, 18, 19. Alright, that one didn't get above it. Alright, let her charge again. Let's see where we're at. And we're back to 90. Alright, I'm going to let this one charge up just a little bit. And uh, since it's and I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. I gave it another minute, maybe a minute and a half or so, and now we're up to 94 or something, 94.3. So we're going to discharge it right there, 94.4. Alright, let's see if we can get above 27 here. Ready? 
3, 2, 1, 26, 27, 29, 30. Yeah. Alright, we're still going up. Alrighty. Let's see where we're at. One thing I like about this combo here is the time you get back to measure it, you're already back to 90%. But you can see that last 10% is, is pretty slow. And plus, it's right now, it's... Uh, the voltage has dropped down. It's, it'll slowly work its way all the way back up to one volt. This is definitely a, a, one of the fastest self-charging uh, ones I've made so far. All right, let me. I'll be back in a minute or so. All righty, I'm back again, and our voltage is nine six two. See, it's jumping around a little bit. That's a bad sign, right? So we're going to uh, measure it right there, trying to get to 9.7. All right. So here we go. 3, 2, 1, 16, 15, 17. It's trying to go higher. Let's take it apart here because I'm thinking that the uh, I'm thinking that our membrane is broke down on this one because of the way it was jumping around. I just got that on there. It's, it's coming off on our uh, on our plate a little bit. I dried that overnight too. It could be right there though. Looks like a spot was bleeding through a little bit. So let's put it back together and let's flip it over. Now let's see if we can get this copper off of here and we'll uh, switch out for that piece of brass and well I got company I'll be back later all right I'm back all right I've, I've got my uh, negative hooked up to the zinc underneath there and I'm gonna stick this piece of uh, brass on top of it there that should let in plenty of airflow And we'll see what kind of voltage and stuff we get on this. Alrighty. Now we got 90.904521. Alright, let's just discharge it and see what we got there. We're about 0.9 volts. Here we go. 3, 2, 1. And that's pretty bad. 3, Point eight. Let me see if I can press it down. I'm going to get graphite all over my fingers. Uh, if I hold it down, it's better. 10.6. Alright. Alright, let's just discharge it right there rather than wait for it to... Alright, point... Let's just measure it there. 0.876. Here we go. I'm going to try to press on it here a little bit. Three, two, one. Oh, yeah, we go 15. So that got a little better. All right, I'm going to let this one charge up a little bit and I'll be back. Well, I'm back and didn't want to climb very high. I'm going to hit 88. Five, so I will just short it right there because it ain't doesn't look like it's gonna go any higher. Ready? Three, two, one, twenty-one. All right. So this is improving. We, all right. Let's uh, go one more time and see if it improves some more. We're at twenty-one now. Alright, I'm back. And now, see we had no problem this time making it over uh, 895. So we're just about back to to uh, the original voltage on this, which was um, 9. A little over 0.9 volts, I think. Alright, so let's get the amps. 3, 2, 1, 22. When it didn't stay there very long either, so that's still a little bit higher. Let's uh, 
problem with having uh, something a screen on the top of it like this is it lets in more air but it also lets out more water so let's uh, give it another little shot of uh, some water and graphite here and, and then see what it does and we're at uh, look at there a little extra water and graphite and we're up to 93 4 93 5 we just measured it right there Point nine, I just switched to 938 alright here we go 3 2 1 31 woohoo alright so that is uh, that's as high as the other one went with the with the copper on it, measure it there at 935. That was super fast recharge right there, and the extra air mix is what's doing that. I'm almost sure of that. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Thirty, thirty-one again. Let's see that self recharge again. Look at that. <laughs> we are right there. As a matter of fact, we're above where we were. And that was, what, 10 seconds to get back that high. Alright. Uh, that is a really fast recharge right there. Alright, here we go. 3, 2, 1. 31 again. Let's just measure it right there again. It's having a hard time getting right, getting back up for some reason. Three, two, one. Thirty-three. It did go up. All right. I'll be back. All right. So it took about three minutes just to go from 0.89 to 0.92, right there. So we're going to measure it right there at 0.92. See what we get. Ready? Three, two, one. Thirty-five. So it went up again. It did go up again. And but I think that's because of this small amount of graphite in there. But we did get to thirty-five milliamps. It's still increasing. I'm back. I discharged it again after I uh, shut off the last uh, section, and it went to forty-three milliamps. <laughs> I didn't think it was going to jump up uh, again, just not that soon anyway, or that high. So here I'm, I'm charging it again. We're at 90, we're at 0.92, and let's uh, discharge it again and see if it goes up again. All right, here we go. We're looking for 43 plus. 3, 2, 1, 39. So we didn't quite get there, but you can see it's a the last one you saw high was 35, so you saw 39 out of it. Let's uh, do it one more time. Maybe it will go higher than 43 this time. Uh, let's give it a couple more minutes here. Let it charge back up. Alright, we're back to 92. Let's uh, discharge it right there. Shit. I think I held that on there while I was flipping it around. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, forty. So now we're hanging out around forty, and it may go up again. <laughs> I don't know. I'll be back. In summary, I guess the two most important uh, points to take away from this uh, experiment is that uh, oxygen uh, is really good for the cell. It improves the self-charge rate and it increases the current output. So um, provide as much oxygen as you can through this into the cell. All right, thanks for watching, and I, I'll see you next time.